Hey there YouTube, it's Aileen and I'm back with another tutorial. Since everybody's posting up spring looks, I was like, hey, what the heck? I need to rip. I need to too, right? <laughs> so this is what I came up with. It's basically on a uh, basically around one palette that I was inspired and it's by the Be a Bombshell Bora Bora that came in my Ipsy bag, my April Ipsy bag. So that's what I use and some other things for this look. I hope you like it. It's a, more like an aqua turquoise color with some bronzy um, browns in it and a peachy lip and some peachy pink cheeks. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I came up with. This is what it looks like. So if you want to get this look or know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Hey guys, so first of all, let me say I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background. I'm right in front of my window and it's open because I'm like hot. So I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background. So first we're going to start off with a color tattoo by iStudio and it's by Maybelline, right? Yes. In Edgy Emerald. And it just looks like this. This is going to be our base, so we're going to take some of this and put it all over our eyelids. Next thing we're going to do is get, oh, see my hair? I hate my baby hairs. So the next thing we're going to do is take a crease brush just like this. This is the Morph brush or Morphe brush in M139 and we're going to take this Eye Studio by Maybelline in green with Envy and we're going to take this color, the second color, right there. And we're going to put this in our crease as a transition color. Now we're gonna take this quad in Bora Bora from Be A Bombshell and we're gonna take this blue color right here with the eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna take this eyeshadow brush from another Morph brush in S30. We're gonna take that color and we're just gonna put it on our lids right on top of where we put that color tattoo. With the same crease brush without any product on it, you want to take that and you want to blend those two colors together. Now with a more dense brush like this one, this is a Sephora brush and it says it's the smudger brush. We're going to take this copper red color right here from the Bora Bora palette. We're going to put that only in our, in our outer V. Now taking the crease brush again without no product, we're going to blend this out. It's very important that you blend each color together so it looks like a gradient effect and it doesn't look like harsh lines, like one color then the next. Now with the same crease brush, I mean not with the same crease, but crease brush, we're going to take that smudger brush from Sephora. And we're going to take the darker color in this palette, the brown, the dark brown, and we're just going to deepen up this look in the, all the way in the inner corner just to give it some dimension. Then with the crease brush again, blend. Now with this big fluffy 
eyeshadow brush from Sephora. We're gonna take the green with MV and we're gonna take the lightest color in the palette. It looks like that. And this is gonna be our highlight on our brow bone and also our highlight in our tear duct. Now we're gonna take this position brown kabuki brush. Why say kabuki? Precision round eyeshadow brush from Sigma and P82. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna take this Sonia Kashuk Edgy Emerald Concealer Palette and we're gonna take, which I'm almost done, the top darkest color. And we're gonna conceal our eye. When you're done with your concealer, you're gonna take your stain matte powder from normal and translucent, translucent, and it looks like this with this e.l.f. Kabuki face brush. I'm like, this is like my favorite brush. It's so soft and so big. I just love it. And we're just gonna powder all over it. Now we're gonna take our liquid eyeliner from NYC and do a cat eye. Then we're going to be putting mascara. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is take a blush brush, I think. Yes, a blush brush. And this is from the Sephora. Sephora! Sephora! Sephora um, brush set I have. So We're going to take Pearlescent Pink from Wet n Wild. You know, it looks like this. It looks like a peachy pink. And we're going to put that right on our apples of the cheeks and blend upward. Last but not least is our lips. And today we're gonna go with a peachy lip color because it's a spring tutorial, duh. And we're gonna take this just peachy lipstick from Wet n Wild, and it looks like this. Just like that, and then we're gonna take our next lip gloss and sugar pie and put that over. If you don't like lip gloss, you don't have to put lip gloss and that means I'm lip gloss so that's how I'm gonna do. And there you go. That's our final look. Spring tutorial because it's spring. I love me some spring. You know why? Because it means that summer is right around the And I'm a summer girl. I just love to put on some summer dresses and flip flops and walk out the door. Not like winter where you have to put a shirt, 
a sweater, a scarf, a coat, uh, some long johns, some jeans, and boots, and all that stuff. No, honey. I don't got the time for that. I'm not about that life. But yes, this is the finished results. So, I hope you like this tutorial. I'm sorry again for the noise, if you did hear any noise. For the glare that keeps going in and out, I'm going to have to look somewhere else to record a video. Another to start recording videos in another spot so it won't, the glare won't. As you can see, you see this? Do you see? My face looks all white. It's crazy. I'm sorry again. But I hope you liked this tutorial. If it didn't, if it wasn't like all crazy and stuff like that. But like I always say, for any tutorials, tags, hauls, anything you want me to do, leave it down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you want to see more videos of me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Love you.